This is a top 5% aim labs player. You would think because of how good he is at aim labs, he would also be good at other FPS games. Unfortunately, he's told me that he's hard stuck in Siege. So in today's video, we're going to analyze his gameplay and try to figure out exactly why. We've got some clips from him here. So we're not going to be able to see like too much um, like errors because these are like all highlight clips. But it is going to be interesting to see like errors in his movement or his aim and kind of try to address why that's happening. But like, I mean, you can see like it, obviously that that aim training does translate to an extent, right? Like that flick right here, this this kill right here was really nice, very nice. <laughs> that was a nice one v five. Not gonna lie. All right, dropping skylight, sledge a cog. That's brave, bro. Yo, anything above sledge one point five is brave. That's my opinion though. Oh, here we go. There are two captains on site door. Interesting. Oh, that worked out perfectly for him. <laughs> I mean, so far, like, obviously, it doesn't seem to be his aim that is the problem, right? And that's what's, uh, that's kind of like what we've seen as well. Like, when I've done my Valorant versus Siege player videos, like, the Valorant players, every time they play Siege, the reason they're losing is game sense, right? And, like, it just goes to show, like, how important game sense actually is for Siege. All right, we got a retake on site here. Retakes are always hard like this. All right, clearing angles very efficiently. Flicking around. Very nice. Ooh, that was a nice shot. All right, one left. Very nice. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly not sure why... Uh, they would be hard stuck to be honest like i i feel like probably the reason they're hard stuck is they don't play in five stacks enough uh, i know that like that's a problem with me like i'm like hard stuck diamond two diamond one all season because i just solo queue and duo queue so that could definitely hold you back right so like if you're just soloing or duoing or you're playing with like irl friends or whatever that could definitely hold you back like significantly that was nice Stop getting aggro. They're saying Primo, don't get aggro. Stop getting aggro. And he's just walking in. <laughs> yep, that's uh, sounds like some stuff I do. Give me a sec here. Where is the last one? It's Alibi. Nice. Oh, God. Nice shot. He's just planning? What? Oh, my God. No, 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 no. He trusted his teammates way too much there. He trusted him way too much. That was, I don't know if that was a game sense issue or like a, tr a, a trust thing, but like that was crazy. Wow, that was nice. <clears throat> that was a ballsy C4. Oh, he's in such a bad spot. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, like we are watching highlight clips. So like all of, all of these clips are like scenarios that whatever he did worked out right but like th some of these pushes he's done have been like a little bit questionable like even just in this round like some of the things he did like he probably would have died if he was in a higher rank i think we're is this four three i don't know it looks like it looks really good oh they're just feeding them right now Ah, uh, that sucks. Yeah, you never, you never have to uh, shift W in sight. You never shift W in sight. I wish I didn't have bomb. It seems like he plays very aggressive, to be honest. So it's like he probably just rushes every single round, because that's what it seems like. Like if you look at the like uh, the time left on these attack rounds, it's all like 2:30, you know. <laughs> So I feel like he just rushes a lot and when you rush a lot, you're either going to win or you're going to lose. So there's, it's really not even up to you sometimes. Oh, that was a nice kill. Yeah. I mean, clearly he's got good enough aim. Oh my God. That was great. That was a really nice shot. Oh my God. So, I mean, if some advice that I could think of so far, like we're only, we're a little bit over halfway through the video now. Some advice I would say would be trying to find a five stack so i think having a five stack would kind of force you to play more in a, a team mindset and like playing less solo and like rushing in like it sounds like you're playing in a five stack this round and there's 50 seconds left and like you guys are 
easily winning this round because your teamwork and coordination so like i feel like if you were to introduce that more into your gameplay and like i don't know just just really trying to like really trying to have a purpose behind everything you do a lot of people just kind of walk around the map without a purpose they're not like really sure what their next step is they're just like walking around trying to like figure out what they're gonna do like you always want to have a purpose beyond what you're doing right so i just feel like a lot of a lot of like really good aim players sometimes just kind of run around with no purpose kind of looking for aim fights you know what i mean so you gotta remember that like that that only take you so far unless like you're a five stack of those guys then you, you're probably gonna hit champ is this 69 Ooh, this looks terrible. Is this 169 or 1610? I can't tell. This looks awful. I'm not gonna lie. They play a lot of different aspect ratios. Ooh, nice. They play a lot of different aspect ratios, but that one so far has been the absolute worst. All right. I respect the Sludge ACOG because personally, I can't do anything higher than a 1.5. So anytime I see Sludge ACOG, I kind of cringe because like for me, it's just... It feels weird to use. I don't know. Maybe I'll just start trying it. Maybe it's the play. I mean, he's going off with them. Uh oh. A DMR one tap, potentially. It's looking likely. Oh boy. Uh oh. He's just going to walk out spraying. That DMR is so good, bro. Like, honestly. I love the uh, Aruni DMR. I forget what it's called. The Mark 14 or something? I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's hard to give feedback on, like, gameplay when the, it's a bunch of highlight clips. But at the end of the day, like, it's hard to... It's hard to see when someone... Like, no one's clipping when they play bad, right? So, we have... Uh, this is what we have to work with. So, it is what it is. That's a nice shot. I mean, yeah, I mean, like, definitely, like, the first thing you can see is just, like, the immediate thing you probably try is just, like, playing less aggressive. But, I mean, your aim is... I mean, in these clips, at least, your aim looks good enough to, like, back up the aggression. But, like, how many... Sometimes you gotta think is, like, how many rounds did he have to play before he got this clip? You know what I mean? Like, how many times did he have to run out that door before it finally worked? You know? i'll tell you from experience like uploading clip videos you have to play a lot of rounds to get those clips it's not as easy as the the clips make it look i'll say that oh that's just unfortunate timing for the sledge he was throwing a nade right as he peaked all right iq 552 commando oh that's a nice flick all right more aruni dmr i respect it so looks like this might be our last clip here so we'll try to see any more advice we could pack in but i mean so far he's playing it like perfectly like it's hard it's hard to say he's doing anything wrong there i mean this is probably the exact thing i would do yeah that was perfect i mean there there's no way to criticize that man i think when when it really comes down to it if you're a player like primo here who I mean clearly has the skill to be a champ player like you've got the aim you've got whatever it may be like clearly you're playing good you're hitting clips like this and you're still hard stuck i think the number one thing you should try to focus on is just trying to join a five stack and play in a team environment i think that's going to help you improve like with your game sense so much uh and just win games in general because you have to remember siege is a team-based game so you could be as mechanically talented as primo is here uh, or whoever is but like if you're up against a a five stack of really good players that are coordinated and you're just solo queue and no one on your team is coordinating you know the chances of you losing are pretty pretty high despite you being a good player still you see what i mean so trying to join a five stack i would say would be the number one thing um for primo here or if you're someone uh, like him in this position but anyways i appreciate you guys watching the video thank you so much follow primo his socials will be down below and uh check out g fuel uh get one tub and a starter kit for the price of one tub right now if you guys use my code the link is down below in the description thank you so much for watching subscribe and have a great day awesome.